One more time for the greatest team in America. Folks, this is Alan Tyson for Lee Hill and Johnston Insurers. Before our first two games, I ask you to be patient, my friends, and enjoy the ride. But I have to admit, two Saturdays ago, as I watched our first loss to a lesser division school since 1994 unfold in Birmingham, I couldn't help but become a little impatient. As far as the ride is concerned, when the final gun sounded, I got the feeling I used to get as a child when I got off the Tilda World at the Kiwanis Ogeechee Fair. I felt like I was going to throw up. Before the season started, I looked at our schedule and our youth, and I thought a 2-2 two and two record in our first four games would be our best case scenario, but 1-3 was more likely. I felt like overall that a 7-5 and five record was achievable, Eight and four would be a miraculous surprise, and six and six with a bowl appearance would be a successful season. So, two weeks in, here's my observation. First, I cannot make myself believe that we are as bad on offense as we've looked in our first two games. Secondly, our defense has actually showed signs of being pretty doggone good. They just have to stop giving up the big play on the ground and get off the field on third down. With that said, all of the scenarios I mentioned are still in play, but we're not in Kansas anymore. This is the FBS, not the FCS. This is the Sun Belt Conference, not the Southern Conference, and every team left on our schedule is capable of beating us. Preventing that from happening has to start small. For our coaches and players, we have to stop thinking about winning in terms of games and records and start thinking about winning every play. Every snap of the ball is important, whether it's sending in the right defense, making the right offensive play call, making the right read, or most importantly, defeating the man in front of you. Football games are won one play at the time. Now this is a phrase that has been often overused, but never has it been more true than now. We have got to get a bad case of the wounds. Eagle Nation, we have a part in this as well. Over the years, one of the things that has made our football program great has been the support of our fans. We have to put the past behind us, let the future take care of itself and rally behind this 2017 football team. As my favorite old ball-headed man used to say, it's time to do right. Big team, little me. Expect to win, Big Blue. As for today, our Eagles are on the road for the third straight game, having taken to the air for the 724-mile trek to the crossroads of America to take on Indiana in Bloomington. The Hoosiers, who are 1-1, one one, opened 2017 with a 49-21 loss to then number two Ohio State at Memorial Stadium before beating Virginia pretty handily in Charlottesville and then taking last week off. The bright red has reached the end zone fairly regularly so far, averaging over 27 points in their first two games, with most of their success coming through the air. They are averaging only 1.9 yards per carry on the ground, which ranks third from last in the FBS. So here's the deal. With a couple of weeks off to lick their wounds and assess their situation, our blue birds should be ready to stop the bleeding against this bunch of bumpkins from B-Town. Look for Indiana to try to establish the run early against our defense, which ranks 94th in the country against the rush. When that's unsuccessful, they will go solely to the airwaves, giving our 12th ranked pass defense the opportunity to pin their ears back and stifle these simpletons from south of I-70. 
when we've got the ball, look for our men in blue to finally get their groove on, putting enough points on the board for us to get our first win against a Big Ten school. Annihilate these Indianans, Eagles. And folks, you just can't beat that. And you just can't beat Georgia Southern. And you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>